Hello everyone, welcome to the Morrowind Book Club. Last time we finished reading The Real Baron Zaya. The whole, all of them, all, all five volumes, that's, that's quite a read. Uh, and now we're moving on to Reflections on Cult Worship. You know, is it really that bad? You know, should we start our, our own cult? I say yes. But first, maybe we should read this book, which I'm hoping will be a manual on starting our own cult. Let us begin. Reflections on cult worship in the Empire. Oh, in the Empire specifically. All right. <clears throat> from the correspondence of Cusius Aplesia, Imperial Trader, writing from the Vos tr uh, Trade House in Vardenfell District, province of Morrowind. I have noted that uh, heartlanders like myself and assimilated Imperial citizens of other races tend to tend to impersonal and formal relationships with their gods and spirits. Tend to impersonal. I don't know, that sentence reads weird for me. Anyways, for us, cults are first and foremost social and economic organizations. We typically think of the eight divines in the most abstract terms as powerful but indifferent spirits to be uh, pro 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 propitiated? Propitiated. 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 <laughs> sure, and do not think of their relationships as personal. Notable exceptions include minor charismatic subcults of Akatosh and Devela. The Imperial Cult of Tiber Septim also has a significant charismatic subcult. With the exception of the Elysian Order, which Heartlanders regard as a dark age, religious cults have played only minor parts in Heartlander and Imperial history. The Septim Emperors have made it a policy to limit the influence of cult authorities in aristocratic, military, and bureaucratic affairs. Cult worship is regarded as a private and practical matter, and public pronouncements by religious figures are not welcomed. Nordic hero cults provide a strong countercurrent to the dominant secularism of the Empire. The Imperial Cult of Tiber Septim is just such a hero cult, and among the military provincial colonists and recently assimilated foreigners, the cult is particularly strong and personal. Now, what what is their definition of a, a cult and a religion in this? Uh, because they, they seem to be making a, a distinction between cults and religions here. So what, what in, in their book, like, if they're talking about... Um, Tiber Septim, which uh, I believe is later referred to as, um, crap, what's his name, Talos? Something like that. Um, like, that's, that's cultish, but what else is considered cult? Like, they, they mentioned something about uh, Akatosh, which I thought, and Debella, right? Yeah. Which, if I remember correctly, weren't they one of the div divines? Whatever. The Tribunal Temple in Morrowind and its predecessor, House Ancestors Cults, are, by contrast with Imperial Cults, extremely intimate and personal. In Ancestor Cults, the worshipper has a direct relationship with a blood family ancestor spirit, and the Temple Cultist's relationship with the Tribunal is a relationship with a living, breathing god who walks the earth, speaks in person with those priests and cultists, and whose daily actions are prescribed models for the daily actions of their followers. So, like, like even in this case here, where you can confirm, you can walk up and be like, Hey, Vivek, how's it going? Uh, or Albalexia, or and so the Sil. Right, yeah, living, breathing God. Anyways, like, you, you can walk right up and be like, Oh, look, hi, how are you doing? Um, you have that confirmation that they exist, but yet they're still referred to as a cult. So is that is that their word for basically religions in, um, in the, the Elder Scrolls? Is they just refer to them all as cults? The differences in religious temperament between Heartlanders and Morrowind, uh, Morrowind Dunmer, accounts in large part for consistent political and social misunderstanding between the two cultures. Heartlanders do not consider cult affairs as serious matters, where the Dunmer consider cult affairs, and in particular ancestral spirit veneration, to be very serious matters indeed. Um, so I'm guessing Heartlanders are people from like the mainland, Mournhold and stuff. Heartlanders are casual and tolerant in religious matters. Dunmer are passionate and extremely intolerant. Heartlanders do not speak with their gods and do not think of their actions as under constant review and judgment by their gods. The Dunmer feel that they feel that all they think and do is under the ever watchful eye of the tribunal and family ancestor spirits. 
Wait, wait. Maybe I'm misunderstanding Heartlanders. Maybe when they say Heartlanders, they're referring to more like Imperial Imperials because they did they did make the the, the distinction. Noted that Heartlanders, like myself, and assimilated Imperial citizens of other races tend to have personal and formal relationships with their gods and spirits. All right, so Heartlanders and, and assimilated Imperial citizens of other races. Yeah, because it's it's from um, Cusius Plessy, which is a very Imperial name. So I'm guessing they mean people like from Cyrodiil or like the Divines or I don't know. Anyways, that was Reflections on Cult Worship in the Empire. A, a fun little, we'll say, peek into the, the world and uh, some um, some opinions and thoughts on that. If you want to leave your thoughts on that, if you're like, hey, yo, Crucius Plessia, your name is dumb, go ahead and leave that in the comments section. Um, if you liked this, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave it a thumbs down. Either way do what I said to do a second ago. I'm doing things all out of order. Um, yeah. But the one thing I am getting right is that I want to ask you before I take off that until the next time we meet, I'd like to ask you all to continue to game on.